السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا بكم في موضوعنا النهاردة اللي هنتكلم فيه على الأنواع الأخرى من النبيلايزرز اسمحوني النهاردة ممكن نخلي الشرح معظمه بالإنجليش علشان في ناس قالت لي إنها محتاجة إنها more English less Arabic So uh, today we are going to talk about other types of nebulizers that are the, the ultrasonic nebulizers and the vibrating mesh nebulizer. In the previous lecture we talked about the jet nebulizer and today we are focusing on the ultrasonic and the vibrating mesh nebulizer. The ultrasonic nebulizer works on the principles of piezoelectricity. That is, when the electric current passes through the piezoelectric transducer, it is transformed into high frequency ultrasonic waves. Uh, usually, here we are talking about 1.2 to 2.4 megahertz. When these vibrations or those waves pass through the medication that is supplied in the form of liquid, it breaks up into many droplets with frequent sizes and frequent um, MADs as we talked about from 2 to 4. It depends upon the frequency of light. So the higher the frequency, the smaller the particle size. It also depends on the manufacturer or the device specific and it is something that we cannot adjust through the nebulizer. We have two types of nebulizer, the larger one and the smaller one. The large ultrasonic nebulizer it is usually used for bland aerosol therapy or for induction of sputum and the smaller one usually is used for home nebulization. Fill the nebulizer with water. Place this. Place the medication cup. Then cover it. Connect to a tubing and finally connect the mouthpiece or you can choose to place a nose piece if you want. Switch it to on and here we go. And also you can adjust the flow. So this is a small ultrasonic nebulizer, it's an Italian brand called BreadMed and it is handheld, it can be battery operated or it can be connected to a cable. Fill it with water. To the required sign. And then fill the medication cup. That at the medication cup. Okay, connect it. And now let's work the magic. See, it's silent, it's small and portable, and you can adjust the volume whether you increase it or decrease it. As for the vibrating mesh nebulizer, it has a vibrating disc that is one centimeter in diameter and it contains 1000 precision holes. Those precision holes are connected to a plate that moves up and down one micron in distance and vibrates about 120,000 times per second, creating electronic micro pump. Those electronic micro pumps, they shear up the medication into multiple particles of uniform size and shape. As for this nebulizer, it's the vibrating mesh nebulizer uh, extensively used all over the world. It's the Erigen uh, nebulizer and this is Erin Pro. It is usually used in patients on mechanical ventilation connected to a cable and then you have this vibrating mesh. You fill the medication here and start utilization. And finally this one is the uh, Omron. It's the vibrating mesh nebulizer used for home therapy. It is covered with a cap and 
here supplied with it is the vibrating disc. Okay. Open the medication cap. Play the medication. Place the vibrating mesh. Hear the click. Rotate it. Tilt it a bit for the nebulizer to start. And of course you have here, here is your mask. You can mark at any direction not affecting the flow. See how easy and silent? So if you compare between the vibrating mesh, the ultrasonic and the jet nebulizer, which one has more respirable mesh? The vibrating mesh more than the ultrasonic, more than the jet nebulizer. And if you're talking about the residual volume, the less residual volume is with the vibrating mesh less than the ultrasonic and less than the jet nebulizer, making medication time less with the vibrating mesh than the ultrasonic and the jet nebulizer. Also, the ultrasonic nebulizer is not, is not optimum for most medication as a uh, nebulization process goes on, the temperature of the medication increases, that causes denaturing of some of the medication if we use it like uh, antibiotics. But if you compare between the prices between the three types, definitely the vibrating mesh is more expensive than the ultrasonic and the jet nebulizer. And thanks for watching everybody and we'll have another separate video talking about nebulization of mechanically ventilated patients. Goodbye.